Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to convert a cube object into a sphere with geometry nodes. Press Shift A and add a cube object. Switch to the geometry nodes workspace. Click on the new button to add a geometry node modifier. First, we need to have more geometry to work with. Press Z key to switch to wireframe mode. Add a subdivide mesh node. So, we can see the subdivided mesh. We can increase the subdivide level. Let's set the level value to 3. As you know, a sphere basically is a set of points that are equal in distance from the center. So, the radius length of all vertices is equal. In order to turn the cube into a sphere, we're going to move individual vertices inside so that overlap the sphere surface. We're going to use the Set Position node to move the vertices. Let's add a Set Position node. In the Spreadsheet Editor, we can see each vertex has a position vector. In order to change their position, drag the Position node and search for the Position Input node. So, we'll have defined the position of each vertex in the geometry node tree. All right. The main question is, how far inside we'll move each vertex? As you can see, each vertex has a different distance from the center. First, we're going to measure the length of the position vectors. Add a vector math node. And switch to length. Duplicate the node and switch to the Scale function. Plug the Position node into the Vector node and plug the Value node into the Scale node. The Scale node takes each Vertex Position vector and multiplies it by the length of the vector. Let's plug the Vector node into the Position node. As you can see, the result is a weird geometry. It's because a longer vector is multiplied by a higher number, and it makes that vector much longer. We need to flip this result to get a sphere. To do that, let's add a math node. Switch the function to divide. Plug the value into the second input of the math node. Set the first input value to one. There we go. We have got the sphere now. Let's make a slider to switch between the cube and the sphere. Add a mix node. Switch the mix type to vector. Plug the position input node into the A input and the scale node into the B input. Plug the result node into the position node. When we slide the factor value, we can see the geometry morph into a sphere. So we can switch between the cube and the sphere. We can also increase the subdivision level. All right, we have made this manually to get understand better. We can also make this practically with the Normalize Vector node. Let's delete these nodes. Add a Vector Math node. Switch to the Normalize function. We can also add the slider to the modifier front end. Just plug the Factor node into the Group Input node. Hit the N key to open the right panel. Click on the Group tab. Select the Factor node and rename it as Cube to Sphere. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.